What do you have in your hair right now? You washed it. And I it's washed just it air dry today and blow blow dried it. You did blow dry it. Yeah. You have fine hair, but a lot of it. Yeah. So you have like a lot of hair. You have the best hair. Oh, I love you guys. But I want to show you like this is kind of like my cheat code to get like nice body. So I'm using our Way Dry Texture Foam, mm -hmm. <laughs> and basically what that it looks does. Good. Just leave it like that. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. So I'm showing you a little cheat. I'm doing dry texture foam with the roots and you basically, what's cool about this and our dry shampoo foam is that you rub it and as you rub it, it dries. So you never feel any sort of like product in your hair. It never feels like dirty or cakey, but it's really nice just to get really good volume and texture in the hair. It so smells great. And I'm really careful about getting it around like the little bits. Cause when I do, any sort of like hairstyle that's up. I like those, I'm obsessed with those little 90s yeah. tendrils that come down. Mm -hmm. So I'm really good about concentrating right at the hairline mm -hmm. so that you can get really nice little pieces out. Okay, I'm gonna do your part first. So I'm really psycho about getting parts like perfect. And then I'm gonna show you how to just get really quick and easy bends in your hair. So I, basically have like a three finger rule and I'm using three fingers and I'm gonna section your hair into just three sections on each side. Okay. And take like three fingers wide, just so it's not like too small. All right, and then I'm gonna show you, you know how to wrap, right? Mm -hmm. So for girls who have an iron with a spring, it's best to just keep it closed and wrap the hair around it, staying like maybe half an inch off the root and keeping the end out and just getting honestly like the loosest, most natural looking bend. If you're really well versed in curling irons, you can also take it and keep the iron not horizontal but vertical and basically just like really hold most of the heat at the like root and then just slide it out to the end. Kind so of like a little really twist. that's really pro though, right? I mean, listen, you can get it down. I feel like you just have to really work on your angles and like getting it to a place where you can kind of twist and move down as you twist. Okay. Another trick though, is if you don't have a Sarah Potempa, you actually, I think what the problem most people have is they keep the curling iron in their right hand side if they're right handed on both sides, but you actually wanna switch it. So like if you're on your left side, you keep the iron in your right hand and move around this way. But then on your right hand side, put the iron in your left hand and then do it this way. And people have so much more success with their bends when they do it like that. Okay, so I'm taking your hair in the back and bringing it forward. And basically just gonna go in alternating twists. So don't curl it all in the same direction because when you do that, you're gonna get like little girl curls. Okay. Okay, again, just taking the hair and really kind of just wrapping it around the iron. And you can open it like this too if you have a spring. It's a little harder, but you can make it happen. Okay, so Rosie, you're basically gonna split your hair in the middle or mm -hmm. on the side, wherever, and just split it all the way down to the nape of your neck, okay. and you're gonna bring that hair forward. That's the easiest way to get the hair in the back. And you know what, who cares about the hair in the back? Yeah. You're not gonna see that, it's fine. Don't worry. And I don't like to like overload the hair with product, especially for girls with fine hair, because I feel like it tends to weigh the hair down, and I just like hair to look really natural and look like nothing was done to it. Now that we have the curl in, your hair looks good. Thank it's you. cute. But I want to get a little bit of peasiness, so I'm going to use a bit of matte pomade. Can I see? Yeah, it's just like, I used maybe a dime size amount. And because your hair is like blonde and it's bleached, I want to make sure it's hydrated too. So this is no shine, so you're not going to see it in your hair. It just like mm -hmm. creates peasiness. But I'm going to actually add just like one or two pumps of rose hair and body oil to it because I feel like your hair can take the hydration and I always start in the back first with the majority of the product and then I just kind of go through and go from mid length to ends and rake the hair through my hands and judge all right so for girls that don't have that can't really hold a bend in their hair I'm using Balmain Stronghold hairspray and just kind of misting it through the hair just for hold. That smells good too. Yeah, that's nice. Do you only use products that smell nice? Yeah, I'm really kind of a smell, I'm a scent snob. All right, my love. That feels great. Oh my gosh. So this is really kind of what I need to do from day to day. You can do this. 
It's and literally also just like, like some bends throughout the hair, yeah. alternate your twists, yeah. and then like put some powder through it. Um, and then I guess this is also like a great base for then kind of transitioning into to a style, like an updo or something else. Yeah, like if you're going to be going from, I don't know, from work to like drinks or something yeah. that's like maybe a little bit more for you, like a little bit more cocktail, yeah. fancy vibes, you can definitely use this as like a base. And I can show you how to put it up and do a really cute like 90s fun like we did for CFDAs. Great. Do it. <laughs> 